Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our co-branding presentation. I'm Golly. No, it's Abraham. Long over Steve. I'm Shirley. Here are the contents of our presentation. First, we will introduce our Monza's brand, Green and Black Chocolate, and uh, explore global and UK chocolate market. And then, we will uh, provide background of partner brand Hagenas and explore global and UK ice cream market. And after that, we will give more detail ab about this co-branding. We will give reason for this co combination and STP analysis, branding detail, promotion mix, sort analysis, and finally we will give conclusion for this presentation. To, to start with background of green and black chocolate. Okay. Let me talk about our, what's about the brand and green and black chocolate. That's the, that's the UK peanut chocolate brand since 1991. The company always attempt to, to generate the highest profits. Therefore, their aim is to generate a brilliant flavor chocolate. All the profiles are made of finest organically grown coconut. Which, which mean that's not only few favors, it's got a lot to attract some people. And they are selling is chocolate bar favor and chocolate drinks and baked bacon products. According to European Parliament News, Global Cocoa Report, we noticed that European occupy a very big section in this market, which are uh, up to 48%. As a main material for making chocolate, the consumption of um, cocoa shows uh, customer demands, which means a, a lot of Europeans love cocoa and love chocolate. And also, markets and markets points out, Asian markets occupy a very big section of global chocolate market. Within European section, UK draw largest demand, which up to 16.4%. And uh, as you can see from this pie chart, Majority consumers prefer milk chocolate over white chocolate and dark chocolate, and demand of dark chocolate is expected to increase in next five years because it's scarcely benefits. Uh, according to this graph, we can see the sales of green and black chocolate uh, increased sharply from two, 2003 and 2005. The reason might be uh, the brand position of intense. Uh, as a whole, we can see the sales of green and black chocolate uh, has uh, has an upward tendency uh, from 1991 to, 19, uh, to 2005. To go with our uh, brand green and black chocolate, we decided to go with Hagen Dance to co-brand it. It's a bit about their background on it. So it's a U US premium brand since um, 1961. Uh, throughout the whole brand, it's about quality and flavour of um, um, Harkin Dahl's ice cream. Uh, they spent so long in trying to get the taste right, and we believe that co-branding it with green and black chocolate instead of in, the, in their way of quality would be a good um, co-brand together. Ingredients used such as 100% real milk and high oil ice cream unique texture and their products such as yogurts and cups and bars. To understand our, our market we had to look at the current um, ice cream market which you can see by the graph here. The top three are Australia, New Zealand and the United States. Um, these are areas where we could look to exploit for our co-brand and to expand our co-brand of green and black chocolate and Harkin Dye's ice cream. Again, here's another graph to show exactly where Harkin does is in the ice cream market with its competitors. So you see Green and uh, Ben and Jerry's for 41%, uh, 40, 41% share of respondents currently purchasing. Harkin does unfortunately is fifth, so hopefully co branding with um, Green and Black Chocolate should push its market share. So the reason for our co brand. The reason to combine those two brands because of two two 
Potatoes from Vario and Potato Expansion. Okay. So, covering the premium brown could be benefitably improved improve the brown so so, so impact both cons cons consumer demand and and because in terms of the new new production therefore it, it could bring more more opportunity customer to, to purchase. Two brands could, could be linked to each other because they manufacture the similar type of food ice cream the dessert. It become large range of of product category which means they could create more favor. Then it, it could be more suitable for different people with different tastes. The packaging the packaging is design would be better to attract people because that's the new production. Now I will talk about the market condition of our core brand. Uh, Eighty percent people eat ice cream, and uh, three quarter uh, adults eat a shop shop bought dessert. So uh, ice cream market is a large market. Um, actually, Unilever is a big competitor uh, of our. Uh, Unilever is a big competitor of our co-brand. Uh, Unilever has strong hold on ice cream on the ice cream market. Um, uh, however, uh, Green and Black Chocolate and his partner um, Press a Manager uh, will produce ice, uh, Green and Black Chocolate ice cream in two thousand and five. Um, so. Uh, green and black chocolate has more experience uh, on quit ice cream product. Um, uh, as we all know, Hagnas is a very popular uh, ice cream uh, brand on, uh, in the ice cream market. So I think our co brand has a good. STP analysis consists of three parts segmentation, targeting, and positioning. Okay. So, for segmentation, we we'll put, put into four different variables demographic, bureaucratic, and geographic, and behavioral factors. Okay, so on the demographics, so we focus on what kind of people would be more in the role. So, for for example, investigating what proportion of of the age a ginger was a more a children more or something. Okay. So how the feminist size right. So for the psychography variable, so concentrate on the requirement from different people. It could motivate people. Get try some dessert to get relaxed. It also could improve their lifestyle. Obviously, dessert could, could make people more relaxed. Okay. So on geographic variable, okay, we is this is cons considering what area we, we are going to deliver with. Okay. Con con concerning about the population, religion, city size, and the climate. So we are going to delivered into a really in, in, intensive area. Okay, on the behaviors variable, so okay, in terms of the brown loyalty, it could build up the trust from the people to us. Okay. So for the target, our target age group is around 21 to 40 years old. It fits into the cold demographic graphic of the ice ice cream dessert industry. So and also we focus on low and V V D class. Concent concentrate strategy concentrate strategy which optimistically deliver into a different strategy lecture. This means using a concentrated strategy allow us to spec specialize 
to call the quality ingredient for our customers. The presentation uh, is high quality and uh, high price. So our core brand uh, launched a new product, which is um, chocolate ice cream hot pot, uh, a plant filled with, filled with uh, flavors, flavor, sugar free ice cream, cake, and uh, uh, fruits. Uh, also, uh, hot and uh, smooth chocolate in a separate container. Uh, and uh, a small candle hit it, uh, so consumers can use fork to step a bowl of uh, ice cream and uh, plunge it into the hot uh, melted chocolate. The name of our cold brand will be Green and Black Hardness, and the aim of it is to produce high quality ice cream and chocolate products and become the first choice for consumers. And the product category of this cold brand will have uh, ice cream, ice cream cake, and chocolate bar, chocolate biscuits, and so on. The products of this cold brand will continue using high quality of in ingredients such as 100% of cream for ice cream making. So looking at our marketing mix, first of all, we'll start off with the product. So our product will be coming in 5 milliliter tubs, as we found in our current market, that's what's most um, popular with consumers. Uh, it will be Hagen Dazs vanilla ice cream with uh, green and black chocolate. The green and black chocolate will be dark milk and white chocolate, as this was most popular with consumers and most bought in green and black's um, consumption. Uh, looking at our price, we've gone for a psychological pricing of £5. Pound. Uh, which suggests a premium product and uh, we would like to make our product affordable to everyone however the price may not reflect on us but we hope to uh, catch the growing middle class and people within the age of 21 to 40 years because it's a new product consumers uh, may feel it's expensive but we want to stress the premium feel quality and packaging and maintain the brand image of green and black chocolate and Arkin ice cream uh, that was talking about our price going to promotion We'd like to um, do through TV adverts uh, with Tesco. We found that Tesco were um, the fourth largest spenders on adverts. So uh, we feel um, uh, advertising our products through Tesco adverts, such as around family shows, would um, entice our target audience. Uh, also, we'd like to go through social media with digital marketing as we believe there's a growing um, interest in social media and, and people using it. Also, we'd like to sell some directly to our customers through our websites. By doing this, we'd like to see what products are popular and doing well with our consumers and hopefully get feedback from our customers. Place we'd use a multi-channel strategy which allows distribution, flexibility and greater access. And we'd use selective distribution such as Waitrose and Tesco's as we feel consumers uh, will feel more of a premium such as Waitrose, which fits our, our brand. Going on to the promotional mix and how we're going to communicate our products um, to our consumers, we'd like to focus on these four things of differentiating, reinforcing, informing and persuading our customers to get our product. Uh, so like I said, in 2011, Tesco spent the fourth largest on advertising, which will benefit us. We hope to communicate through Tesco adverts, as it's quite often in on TV. But our message of quality and is an experience of great ice cream and chocolate. Uh, we'd use a profile positioning strategy, where we'd made public um, relations and generated articles of our consumers, and we aim to inform the public and the target market our perspective of the, of the brand of Hagen Dazs ice cream and green and black chocolate. Corporate advertising, we'd like to use and build a positive reputation amongst our consumers and others in the business world. In the future, more people.